Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, taking over from where the Senator of Kisi has left, I want to remind colleagues that this is our baby. When we rose to respond to the disaster of the Gen C, one of the things we resolved upon in this house, in that great debate that we had never seen before, was that we had to address the displeasure by the young people on how we spend all our time showing off opulence, choppers, vehicles that cost over 51 million shillings. And the youth, because they are better educated than what our generation was at their time, they are able to relate your income to what you contribute in Harambe. So we said, let us regulate this. The intention of this bill, and I want to urge colleagues, let us read it. The intention is not to abolish Harambe's. The intention is to sanitize. The intention is to make it decent. The intention is to make sure that we don't hide in Harambe's to practice corruption. How can you accept the fact that you are taking your ill-gotten money to a funeral of a mass accident like the one we had in Ekolomani at Ibu, River Lukose? You take that, those millions, and yet the reasons why the accident took place is the bad state of the roads. If you had a dual carriage from Nairobi to Kakamega to Busia and Uganda, the accidents that, were take, that take place on these roads would be cut by over 80%. So Senator Mungatana, thank you very much for your passion. But the point is, don't give us money which you have stolen, which would have fixed the roads, and those bad roads have caused us to die. Don't bring us that money. Allow the police to come after you so that you can be brought to order. What is your point of order, Senator Mungatana? Yes, Mr. Speaker. Did you hear the senator from Kakamega, my very good honorable friend, say that they don't bring us the money that you have stolen? Mr. Speaker, is it a presumption that every person who actually, out of his good heart, or out of the problem that is there, and, and I'm speaking from about my county, Mr. Speaker. I don't know, Kakamega, maybe they are rich, Mr. Speaker. People are dying of hunger. If you get something and you want to help, is it a presumption, Mr. Speaker, that the people who are helping, the teachers, the doctors, the poor prosperous farmers are thieves? Mr. Speaker, can Mr. Kalwale, Honorable Kalwale, my very good friend, please, Stop playing to the gallery and address the issues. I don't think that is a correct statement, Mr. Speaker. Honorable Mungatana. I don't think uh, the Honorable Senator for the Commandment uh, what you've just said. Indeed, if you remember during the debate on the state of the nation, none other than Honorable Senators were of the view and that was after listening to the general public that there could be there could be dirty money that gets its way into the Harambees. And therefore, it's important to bring transparency in the Harambees. It's decent to bring some accountability in the way we do these Harambees. 
and out of that concern that the house had. And in fact, this house went to resolve certain uh, actions to be taken. One of them is basically to legislate and bring uh, sanity in the Harambe uh, space. So yes, you, there's, there's that general perception. And not everybody who contributes in Harambe is a thief. But as you know, if I might use uh, a Kiswahili saying, uh, Samaki moja kioza, bahari muzima imeoza. So this particular piece of legislation is to, is to address that particular one thief and leave their thousand wonderful people. But at least that particular one person who we are not sure of how the, their, their sources of, um, you know, these funds, the fund do not make its way into the uh, hands of the public. That's why this law is, 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 uh, uh, is proposed. But I do not think the Honorable Senator for Kakamega uh, had an ill motive by saying that uh, some of this money that would have otherwise fixed a road ended up in the wrong hands and it is that money that is coming at the tail end to bury uh, victims of that very bad road, which bad road came as a result of the money that had been maybe stolen. So it is that space that we are trying to clean up. There are good people who will bring their hard-earned money, and there are those questionable um, amounts that still find the way. So to clean up, to make sure that we have good money in this Harambe ecosystem, the proposed law is just to sanitize that space. Senator Boni. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I wouldn't have put it better. And I truly want to thank you. This bill is not a joke. Mr. Speaker, there is still money meant for drugs in hospital and thanks to that shortage patients die and they come to bury us mr speaker there is still money meant to fix our roads mr speaker they go ahead and buy four wheel drives that can avoid potholes and buy choppers and courtesy of those bad roads when we die, they come to show us we don't want that money. Mr. Speaker in Tana River, I have had the choice and pleasure for six years to practice medicine in the coast province. And I know what poverty has done, not just in Western, but in coast. So, Mr. Speaker, there is still money meant to improve the productivity of the lands in cost so that they allow the people of Tana River to come to them through Harambe's begging for food. Mr. Speaker, through this law, we don't want that kind of money. And Mr. Speaker, this law has been very well thought, thought through. When you read through, Mr. Speaker, it is not casual. Let me respond, for example, to the concerns in this bill of the Senator of Tana River. We have part Roman three, which speaks to fundraising appeals. And they say, Mr. Speaker, in clause eight, that the provision of this part shall not apply to a private fundraising appeal where the solicitation is made from members of the, for beneficiaries of the nuclear family or relatives and does not extend to members of the public. Clearly, this bill is going to allow us to sit as a family in Marinya, a family in Idaho, and do our fundraising. What they are against, 
is public fundraising. And the law has gone further, Mr. Speaker, in Clause 9, has created distinction between public and private fundraising. It is the public fundraising that we want to control. I therefore, Mr. Speaker, wish to appeal to colleagues, let's go through this proposal with a tooth comb so that we can refine it for it to be better. Are you saying this thing is a joke? When you saw a few days ago, none other than the Catholic bishops of Kenya speak to this issue. And in fact, Mr. Speaker, in unprecedented action, Archbishop Agnolo, who for the information of this house is a man born from Shinyalu, and he's the Archbishop here in Nairobi, Philip Agnolo has done the unthinkable. He has returned money to politicians. So when you say we are doing something that does not appeal to the public, knowing that Catholics control over 50% of the Christians in this country, knowing that the Catholics have permeated all our villages and they could possibly be the voice of the poor who we pretend to be assisting when actually thieves are using that opportunity to sanitize money that they have stolen from our coffers. We must address it so that on Sunday, when I go to church, when you go to church, when all our other politicians go, including the head of state, he can comfortably make his contribution without any worries as to the interpretation. And this law has gone further, Mr. Speaker. They have said in this law, in Clause 11, they have put exemptions. Exemptions are here. Senator for Narok, if you go to Clause 11, they tell you money or property collected by or under the authority of a recognized representative of a religious association is exempted. It means once the law is true, we can then go to Archbishop Agnolo and give him our contribution to help the church to be constructed. I would be the last, the last person, Mr. Speaker, to fight the Harambe spirit. Because if it had not been for the 100 shillings in 1976, which Muirza Li gave me as a contribution to my Harambe, I would not have finished my education in Msingo High School. Mr. Speaker, Musingo High School, one of the top schools in this country, was started by the spirit of Harambe. Shibwe Hospital today, which I have created from a dispensary, that dispensary was started by Harambe. So Harambe is good, but unregulated, you leave it to where you see people using it to sanitize the money they steal from us. Mr. Speaker, I want to conclude by acknowledging that this is indeed a difficult decision to make because somebody who will not take trouble to read this law, he will think you are against charitable activity. No. In fact, one of the charitable organizations that I belong to Touch Africa, where I'm a, a director of the foundation, was started by the late Michael Kijana Wamalwa because he believed in touching people. We want to touch people, but touch them with honor and touch them not when we are taking advantage of them. Mr. Speaker, I support strongly and I propose that at the right time we'll come with proposals to amend so as to make this bill better. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Senator Onakina. Mr. Speaker, let me 